We have been taught that there are seven oceans since Pangea broke apart to establish the Earth. But now as the African continent is gradually beginning to split in half, scientists think a completely new ocean is already emerging. Recently released images demonstrate the extent of the devastation, with regions of Africa literally rupturing apart. According to scientists, Africa is splitting into two regions, which may eventually result in the creation of a new continent and ocean. This will divide modern-day Somalia and portions of Kenya, Ethiopia, and Tanzania from the rest of the continent, even though it will take millions of years to finish. With a landmass of more than 30 million square kilometers, Africa is the second most populous and second largest continent in the world. Although many of its 54 countries are landlocked, this may soon alter for some. There will be numerous effects of this drastic alteration to the Earth's landscape, both beneficial and detrimental. If people are still alive by then to see the significant changes it will bring about, that is something that only time can tell. Let's now investigate what the post-Great Rift Valley would have looked like millions of years from now. Before we get into this, please like and subscribe to this channel so that you get notified when we upload informative videos like this one. This is the greatest way for us to develop as a channel and understand the stark reality of this phenomenon. We must first comprehend how and why Africa is dividing into two halves. Rifting is the phenomenon that is rupturing the continent apart. It occurs when a single tectonic plate splits into two or more, with the divergent plate borders separating them. This phenomena occurred at least 138 million years ago, when South America and Africa were split apart. The east coast of South America and the west coast of Africa fit together like a pair of jigsaw puzzle pieces, demonstrating how these faces were once united as one for the previous 30 million years. The Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden were created as a result of the Arabian Plate migrating away from Africa. The massive fragmentation of the future is linked to the 56-kilometer East African Rift System, a 35-mile fissure that first appeared in the Ethiopian desert in 2005. Stretching thousands of kilometers southward through numerous African countries, including Ethiopia, Kenya, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Uganda, Rwanda, Burundi, Zambia, Tanzania, Malawi, and Mozambique, this is one of the world's greatest rifts. The 35-mile-long crack is called the East African Rift. Three tectonic plates that have been progressively separating from one another meet at the starting point. The sixth ocean in the planet will form as a result of this rift. Similar tectonic processes occurring at the ocean's bottom are responsible for the rift's creation, according to seismic data. The fracture was found near the boundary of the African, Nubian, African, Somali, and Arabian tectonic plates, which had already been drifting apart for a while. The East African Rift Valley stretches approximately 3,000 kilometers, from Zimbabwe in the south to the Gulf of Aden in the north. It splits the African plate into the Nubian and Somali plates. Even while the rifting process has been ongoing for some time, it wasn't until 2018 that a significant fissure in the Kenyan Rift Valley became apparent that the possible split was widely reported. Scientists estimate that because the Arabian plate is moving away from Africa at a rate of one inch per year, the great split is unlikely to occur anytime soon. Millions of years will pass until Africa is divided into two equally sized regions. It will take at least five to ten million years for the new ocean to emerge, meaning that few landlocked African countries may eventually have their own beaches. Now, if nation-states continue to exist in their current form millions of years from now, this is what we anticipate would happen. The coastline would unintentionally fall within the borders of six landlocked nations. Rwanda, Uganda, Burundi, the Democratic Republic of the Congo, Malawi, and Zambia. The smaller continent formed by the rift will contain nations like modern-day Somalia, as well as portions of Kenya, Ethiopia, Eritrea, Djibouti, Tanzania, and Mozambique. However, depending on how the rift forms, geologists believe that the smaller of the forming continents may move apart from the larger continent. There's a chance that new countries could emerge, existing ones will combine, or states will break up entirely. According to geologists, Madagascar will fragment into smaller islands. 
there is a good chance that the world will have a new continent on each of the 5 or 10 million years, that the new ocean that forms will be called the African Ocean. Although the countries would have to pay millions of dollars in evacuation costs, there would be many benefits. With access to the sea, the formerly landlocked nations will be able to reduce their international logistics costs and establish previously unheard of shipping and fishing sectors. The nations will construct harbors that will provide direct access to the rest of the world. Although the Democratic Republic of the Congo has a small portion of its Atlantic coastline that is still in the United States, the country, along with Uganda, Rwanda, and Burundi, has mostly relied on the ports of Mombasa in Kenya's Indian Ocean and Dar es Salaam in Tanzania for its maritime freight and transportation needs. It also means that subsea internet cables can now finally be directly connected to the countries. A plethora of chances for economic expansion will undoubtedly be unlocked by the advent of new beaches, assuming that technology hasn't been circumvented by then. There will be a significant increase in maritime activity and perhaps a shorter path to other global locations. However, it remains to be seen if this would benefit Africa or if it will give outsiders the opportunity to exploit and dominate the new marine trade routes. In the far future, will there still be a connection between the two continents? For what reason would they divide like North and South America? Would trade make them one cohesive group? And what would that mean in terms of security? Furthermore, more countries than any other continent or area are affected by relocation, making Africa the most affected region overall. The United Nations Environment Program Report on Displacement and Environment, 2015, states that there were over 15 million internally displaced persons in Africa. Settlements, towns, and a variety of plants and animals will be uprooted as the plates continue to separate in the future. Climate change will cause these changes to affect their habitats, which will degrade the environment. Changes in habitat will cause some plant and animal species to go extinct and others to become endangered. Lastly, there will be a shortage of food, energy, and water due to the pressure that growing urbanization and population growth will put on natural resources. Dramatic occurrences can emphasize the urgency of continental rifting, such as abrupt faults that separate motorways. Rifting, on the other hand, is a very sluggish process that largely divides Africa without anyone realizing. In the grand scheme of things, the breakup of East Africa will turn out to be just one more chapter in this enormous geological narrative that spans millions of years. It's unclear if humanity will survive to witness any of these developments, although hope isn't very strong. However, it is crucial to talk about the future's potential since it might arrive sooner than people realize. What do you think about a new ocean in Africa? Tell us what you think about landlocked countries having their own coastline. Please do not forget to like and subscribe for more informative videos like this one.